Hi, my name is Megan Duquette. I'm the Education Director here at Mission San Juan Capistrano. It's Swallows Watch 2018. We're looking for the cliff swallows migrating up to North America. They do that every year as part of their regular annual tradition of coming back and hopefully returning to Mission San Juan Capistrano. We celebrate them every March 19th and I want to invite every single one of you to come to St. Joseph's Day, our annual tradition. The mission story about the swallows started almost a hundred years ago with Father John O'Sullivan. He was a pastor here at the mission from about 1910 to 1933. And the legend goes that he was walking downtown and he happened to see a local hotel keeper with a giant stick knocking off mud nests on the side of his building. And so Father O'Sullivan walked up to him and said, what are you doing? And the man said, well, these birds are causing a mess and I don't want them here. And Father O'Sullivan said, but that's the bird's home. And the man said, he didn't care. So O'Sullivan invited the birds to come to live here at the mission. Father O'Sullivan started a huge tradition of bringing the Mission Parish school children in by doing song and dance. Soon the local newspapers heard about this tradition. The Associated Press picked up the story and it went nationwide. And by 1936, NBC Radio did a live broadcast of the event. Since the 1950s, we have images of cliff swallow activity actually building colonies here in the ruins of the Great Stone Church. We had hundreds of nests, if not thousands of birds flying overhead. But since the 1980s, we've seen a decline in nesting birds here at the mission, which is probably multiple factors, one being the slow urbanization of town. Beginning in 1989, the mission was on an effort to preserve the ruins, a stabilization effort that began in 1989 and did not complete until 2004. So for 15 years, scaffolding was surrounding the ruins of the Great Stone Church and also required some of those mud nests to be removed in order to preserve the ruins. And so in 2012, the Missions Preservation Foundation, our executive director, Michelle Lawrence Adams, and our mission staff decided we needed to do something to get more of those birds that were living in town to come back here and nest at the mission. So what were we gonna do? We invited an ornithologist, a bird scientist by the name of Dr. Charles Brown to come and help us. And he decided, you know, we should start some experiments. The first phased experiment was to do a vocalization or to play mating calls of cliff swallows. And so the birds that were nearby in town would come and see the mission was a good place like they had so many years before. The second thing that he had us do was to make replica nests. We took a real cliff swallow's nest we made a mold out of it, and then we made dental plaster reproduction nests. And his idea was to build this arch right next to the ruins and hope that those swallows would see it. They would use these nests, because usually cliff swallows' nests take about two weeks to make, that they would use these ones that were already made, and then hopefully more swallows would use them and then spill over into the ruins. So we've been working with this experiment since 2012, but last year we had some success. 